All right, so we've made our box, we've set it up for printing, but there's a couple additional things that you could play around and do on this. So let's just take a look back at our box. I'm gonna turn on all my components again, just so we can see. And I'm gonna turn off these extra sketches. So it's just the basic box. Now there's our bottom. Now a simple box, but maybe we want to put a divider in this box. To do that, there's a couple other steps that we need to do. Um, remember when we had our construction planes? So those construction planes are in the centers. To turn them on, you just click on the light bulb. I'm going to turn off plane one, so I've just got that one in the middle. And I want to start a new sketch on that plane. So you can see the sketch is cutting all the way across. Now, I'm going to steal geometry from one of the other sides. So like before, sketch and project include. Project, again, okay, could just hit the P key. And I'm going to click on that side there. And you'll see the geometry has showed up. Now, a little difficult to draw the way that this has, and, or the way that it's set up right now, because we can't see through the parts. So I'm just going to turn off the other bits so I can see what's going on and I'm going to click click on the front view just to bring everything into proportion so this could be my middle divider although the bottom's not going to work out too well but let's let's make it a little lower so I'm going to go sketch and line and I'm going to make my divider cut in half So my mouse is a little slow here when the video's on. There you go, like that side, there we go. Triangle for the center, and triangle again. So now I've got half of it there. Now remember, this is for the bottom of our box. I'm going to steal these sketches and make them my teeth by drawing a line across the bottom. So when I go to extrude this, I'm going to extrude this space here and those two teeth. So stop sketch. We're going to go extrude. Click on that space. And click on those two teeth. So these two are going to dig into the bottom and those are going to be on the sides. I want that this to be thickness again. So thickness. Now I don't want it to be one sided. I want it to be symmetric. That way it shows up perfectly in the center. And the measurement, I want it to be the whole length. If I do at the half length, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be double the thickness, which isn't gonna to work too well for us. So like that. And instead of new body, we're gonna go new component again. And click OK. So there's our new divider that we've got in the middle. I'm gonna change the the name of it to divide and I can turn back on my other pieces. Now you'll see, see how it's kind of showing funny gray and yellow there? That means we've got overlapping space because we never drew in um, the teeth for this dividing piece. So I'm just going to turn off side three and four just to make it a little easier to see what's going on here. So we're going to use this new dividing piece to cut the sides and that bottom. So under Modify, I've got a tool called Combine. If I click on Combine, I've got Target Body, which is the thing I want to cut. Tool Body is the thing I'm going to use as a tool to do the cutting. Operation is what's going to happen. So if I leave this as joint, it's just going to put them together. So I'm going to say Cut. And then I want to keep I want to keep my divider in place, so I'm going to say keep the tool. So target body is this one, tool body is this one, and if I click OK, if I turn off that divider now, you'll see that it's cut a hole into that piece. So we do the same for the others, combine, all of my settings should stay as default, target, tool, OK, it's cut at the bottom, and modify, combine, target, tool, and okay. 
So if I turn off the divider again, you'll see now that I've got holes all the way around for that divider to sit. Now you could make the divider anywhere you wanted. You could make it coming back the other side. Um, that's up to you and your design. In order to get, make this on the laser cutter, that piece, we would turn it back on, turn off the others. And like before, we would be creating a sketch on there, P for project. Stop the sketch, and it's this sketch 11, because it's always the last one. So let's rename this divide, and save as DXF. So divide, and that can go with the other files over to the laser cutter.